to a story I covered earlier this week. And once again, I just want to say our government is incapable of solving this problem. Now, we can all debate until the cows come home what the proper way to end gun violence would be in this country. But the government is not here to help. And they can't help. So let's check this out. Virginia parents of six-year-old suspected school shooter could face charges. Could? Could? Parents gave the kid a gun and they could face charges? What? Now again, we gotta throw the parents in jail. I don't fucking give a shit. You give a kid a gun? I'm sorry. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Go directly to jail. Go directly to jail. Now, you might be saying, the parents didn't give the kid the gun. The kid found the gun. That's the parents giving the kid the gun. Oh, the, the parents didn't give the kid the gun. The kid just knew the combination to the locker. That's called giving the kid the gun. If you have a gun and the kid that you have somehow manages to find the gun, you have failed. You have failed. You're a shitty mom. You're a shitty dad. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you are. You are a failure. And a teacher was nearly killed as a result of your failure. We got to stop treating parents like they're toddlers. Why is it that we treat parents like they're babies? They should be the ones teaching our babies. We can't have babies raising babies. Oh, I left my gun out. Whoops, my bad. Please don't charge me, bro. It was a mistake. Is that a joke? But this is a little bit more complicated, you know, so let's read here. Six-year-old boy accused of shooting his Virginia teacher Friday with a gun he took from home is unlikely to be charged, but his parents could be criminally culpable depending on how the firearm was stored. I don't care how the firearm was stored. The sheer fact that the child was able to access the gun means that the firearm was not stored. I'm sorry. If the kid was able to get the gun, the firearm could have been... You know, behind, like, one of those, like, fucking shit you see in, like, Resident Evil. You know, you got, like, the eyeball detector and the steel doors and the laser beams. If the kid knows the password, it doesn't fucking matter. Okay? If the kid is able to get the gun, the gun was not stored. And therefore, the way the gun was stored is irrelevant. It makes no fucking sense. Legal experts said even though it is theoretically possible under virginia law to criminally charge a six-year-old child there are numerous obstacles to doing so and it's highly unlikely any prosecutor would even try i don't blame the six-year-old here i blame the parents virginia law does not allow six-year-olds to be tried as adults i mean this is good news <laughs> i mean like can we talk about this is like this is one of those like you know lines in a news story where you're like oh that's a relief <laughs> we're not gonna try six-year-olds as adults, well, I'm happy about that. I'm happy that Virginia law, law does not allow us to pretend that a six-year-old is an 18-year-old, right? But there is an adult in this story, and we're not talking about the teacher who nearly got killed. We're talking about the parents. And they should be tried with attempted murder or manslaughter at the very least. I mean, come on now. Right, come on now. The idea that the kid had any idea what they were fucking doing, let's be honest. The kid had no idea what they were doing. Right? So, unless your child is like Stewie Griffin from Family Guy or some shit, let's be honest, he's not. He probably had no idea what he was doing. And you shouldn't have give him, given him the gun in the fucking first place. So, the parents here are guilty of manslaughter, as far as I am concerned. There is not a single possible additional fact that could be added to this case that would change my mind. I'm sorry. Unless, let's say, the kid was given the gun by some stranger on the street, right? But if the gun was linked to their parents, the parents gave them the gun. It's that simple. Okay? It's that fucking simple. 
In addition, a six-year-old is too young to be committed to the custody of the Department of Juvenile Justice if found guilty. In addition, a common law... They said in addition twice. That's redundancy, man. Like, do these... Like, does the journalism school still exist anymore? Like, come the fuck on now. A common law doctrine known as the infancy defense holds that children under seven cannot be prosecuted for a crime because they are so young that they are incapable of forming criminal intent, which I agree with. Children are not able to become criminals this young, in my opinion. A judge would also have to find that the child was competent. Again, so that's not going to be happening. Um, the student's mother legally purchased the 9mm handgun used in the shooting and stored it in the family's home. Newport News Police Chief Steve Drew revealed in a press conference on Monday. Virginia has no laws that require unattended firearms to be stored in a certain way. Because Virginia fucking sucks. Virginia fucking sucks. Virginia is a shitty fucking state that fucking sucks. I'm sorry. Cry about it. Cry about it. Virginia fucking sucks. If you have a gun in the house and you have children in the house and the children is able to get the gun, you have failed. You have failed. And you should go to jail. You're a negligent, irresponsible scumbag. I'm sorry. This isn't a fucking joke. We're not talking about your kid gaining, uh, gaining access to, like, fucking, you know, choking hazard toys or whatever. You know, some shit that's, like, theoretically they could harm themselves, right? That's still bad. But we're talking about the fact that a kid got a gun and almost killed an innocent random person for no reason. I mean, seriously? Seriously? Bullshit? Well, let's keep going. Any person to recklessly leave a loaded, unsecured firearm in such a manner as to endanger the life or limb of any child under the age of 14 is guilty of a class 1 misdemeanor? Misdemeanor? Wait a second. You're telling me I can get a felony charge for consuming heroin but giving a kid a gun that they used in a school shooting is a misdemeanor is that a fucking joke is this a fucking joke again virginia is garbage virginia is fucking garbage and our country is fucking garbage i've said this before but this idea that people treat guns like it's just another toy. Guns are not just another toy. Guns are destructive killing machines. The entire purpose of a gun is to end human life. I can, at least a baseball bat can be used for sports. At least a machete can be used to cut through some, you know, foliage in a swamp. At least a knife can be used to chop up some potatoes. A gun has one purpose. To be used to end another human being's life. That is the sole purpose of a gun. Okay? And if you are going to give guns to children, then you are a freak that doesn't deserve to have kids and you need to go to jail. I don't give a fuck who you are. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Now, what is more likely? An evil group of gangsters are gonna fucking jump into your window, you know, like it's something out of the purge, and they're gonna fuck you up, and you need to get your gun from under your bed immediately. You don't have time to punch in the code. Or what's more likely? That? Or your kid's just going to go get the gun and then shoot themselves, shoot their sister, shoot their brother, or shoot a teacher. What's more likely? Let's talk about statistics, people. Statistics, people. Let's go. Come on. Let's talk about fucking statistics. These fucking gun nuts, dude. And I'm not saying you're not allowed to have a gun. But if you have a gun, you need to know how to store it. If you don't want to store if you want to have your gun lying around, guess what? Don't have kids. I got an easy solution for you. Don't have kids. 
if you have kids and you have a gun, the kid needs to be not even close to even within the realms of theoretically imaginably able to get that gun. If the kid is able to get the gun, you failed immediately. Do not pass go. Go directly to jail. So, again, what is more likely to happen? Someone's going to jump in your house and try to kill you and your whole family? Or your kid's going to take the gun and do something fucking crazy? What is more likely? Now, again, statistically speaking, it is thousands of percentage points more likely that the kid is going to get the gun and commit some sort of issue. Or maybe the parents are going to have some issue or it's going to be a domestic abuse situation. The gun's going to be used in some fashion. And then let's imagine there is a home invasion and you have a gun and you don't know how to use it properly. There's a good chance that the home invader could get the gun. So almost, now again, if you want to have a gun for self-defense, I'm not saying you're not allowed. But what I am saying is that you need to know what the fuck you're doing. Because most of the time, these guns are used in domestic incidents, suicides, and accidents. Way, way, by an order of, again, thousands of percentage points, more likely for suicides, accidents, or whatever, than a home fucking invasion where you're successfully going to fight off a robber. That never fucking happens, okay? That happens to maybe like 20 people a year that they're able to successfully defend against a home invasion. That's fucking storybook shit. That's fairy tale garbage. But guess what? There's thousands of related accidents to children getting guns and shooting each other, shooting themselves, or, you know, a drunken partner taking the gun and using it against their fucking family, whatever. Okay, so again, this fucking storybook bullshit about guns, it's made up. And if you have kids and you have a gun, you are responsible for that gun. Once the kid gets the gun, it's already over for you. It's done. You're no longer a parent. You're just a patient in a mental hospital or you're a prisoner in a prison cell. That's it. Those are the only two options. Pick one. You're no longer a parent. I'm sick of these fucking freaks, man.